this took telecom vodafone and turkcell but i'll be going to turkcell as per the online reviews and uh, the suggestions and the network cap capability for all the cities inside turkey hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another new video so right now i'm in cappadocia uh, the temperature is freezing in cappadocia right now it's about minus 3 degrees as i can check in my mobile and it's very very close very very close and very very cold out here so i'm in my hotel room that is cave room here in cappadocia so uh, i just want to make a quick video about which sim card you should choose when uh, when coming to turkey so if you're traveling from anywhere in the world you get to turkey and uh, of course turkey is a very very beautiful place and the data is pretty expensive uh, as just like Dubai, by just like other countries uh, the data is going to be very very expensive so in this video i'm about to show you like which which is the best uh, uh, network in my opinion and which you should choose according to me and uh, i have chosen one already uh, for my liking and uh, it's been pretty good so far the speed is very good i travel from istanbul to cappadocia and in cappadocia also i'm getting full coverage full network and there is no issues at all so i'll just give you a quick round up on what network uh, what net which network to choose and when you land in airport itself you can buy the sim card and i bought the sim card in airport and i booked my taxi to the hotel from istanbul uh, from istanbul airport to uh, my hotel in istanbul so you can do the same uh, you just have to uh, get the sim card because if you book in wifi and just come walk out of the airport you'll not be the driver will not be able to reach you out so it's better to take a sim card book a uh, book through a sim card uh, book through the data and when you come out of the airport also you'll have you're going to have internet and the same thing you have you can follow uh, when the driver is when the driver reaches you you can just instruct the driver um uh, that uh, you know you're waiting at this pickup point and pickup location and you can go to your yeah as you can see my screen now uh, there is uh, three networks basically one is turk telecom another one is vodafone another one is turkcell so for me i have taken turkcell as you can see my screen i just point out yeah as you can see my screen i have chosen turkcell so for me turkcell is um, turkcell was the best out of all the three networks that is turk telecom vodafone or uh, turkcell and as you can see the screen turkcell is giving 10 gb 9 10 gb data Uh, for 60 TL, uh, 15 GB T, uh, 15 GB data for 80 TL and 20 GB data for 100 TL. But if you come to the touristic packs, uh, this is this is just the top up that they're showing right now. But if you come to the touristic packs, uh, it is somewhere going to cost you around um, 35 euros for the plan I have taken, that is 50 GB. And for 20 GB, it is going to cost somewhere less, around 37. Uh, sorry, let me tell in dollars. So 20 GB pack would cost somewhere around 37 USD, and uh, 30 GB pack would cost somewhere around 43 dollars, and the 50 GB one would cost somewhere around. Forty-seven uh, dollars. So I chose the fifty GB pack for forty-seven dollars because I upload a lot of videos, shorts when I'm traveling. So I choose. I tend to um, expend. Uh, I I thought of spending ten dollars more and choosing uh, Turkcell instead of um, th those two plans. Uh, that is uh, uh, the the one plan in Vodafone and one plan in Turk Telecom were a bit expensive. So if you pay forty-seven dollars, you get fifty GB of data, and that's that's really important for us because we do a lot of WhatsApp calling to our home. If you want to speak to your parents, you can use this uh, SIM card very well. You can see, uh, you can use it to a good effect and. I asked a few Turkish people, and I also did a lot of research online before coming here. And everyone recommended Turkcell itself. No one, no one recommended uh, Vodafone or Turk Telecom. They said it is good, but Turkcell is the best. And even even I am in Cappadocia right now, uh, so even in Cappadocia, uh, the the amount of network I am getting is is pretty pretty good. In fact, it is better than what the Wi-Fi is there in the room right now. The the net on net on this is very very good. So they are going to they are going to take out the SIM card from your mobile tier, and that's good. They are going to attach it like this. So I am using. Uh, Um, uh, what a fun idea! So it's going to attach the SIM card on this Turkcell, and they're going to replace the SIM in your mobile tier, just like any other, uh, just like any other country. You would go and try to replace the SIM cards. So it's as simple as that. So that's that's it, guys. So if you have any questions on this, or uh, once you walk into the airport, once you clear the immigration, once you come to the exit gate, you will find Turkcell, uh, what a phone, and Turk Telecom. You can choose according. I, I, uh, you can choose them uh, accordingly. You can check and then buy. But this is my opinion only because I did ask a lot of people before taking Turkcell, and they they seem to. Uh, uh, Recommend Turks and instead of Vodafone or Turk Telecom. So uh, that's it. I mean, that's it about the SIM card. So if you have any doubts or if you need any more information, uh, where to find exact? If you want me to pin the location in the description below, I can pin that as well. So uh, um, that's pretty much it. For, that is pretty much it for now. And if you have any questions, uh, like I said, feel free to uh, comment in the comment section or uh, ping me on Instagram for immediate response. Thank you.